I'm not gonna escape anyway. I never even thought about it. it never crossed my mind. I mean, people don't escape from Box 4 prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <sighs> Papa Jake's escaping from this place, and we ain't coming back. Logan's not gonna know what happened. What did I do? Dealing all the tape. This is my tape. I need it for my box sports. No, oh. you can't arrest me. You're going away from the box long. guy. Ah. I'm the box guy. I'll be out in a minute. You're coming with me. Ah. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Vivni, and we are back with a brand new video. And today we are building our very first box for prison or jail the bin the hole we're making a prison guys you guys have been asking for it in the comments and we thought it'd be awesome to make our very own box for prison i stole some tape from the tape factory but i only needed it to build my box for so i don't know if that's wrong is it wrong for someone to steal tape to build a box for you let me know down below but nonetheless guys we do have to make a prison because i gotta go to jail and if we don't make this quick enough well i'm gonna just run away look just go right now all oh, the doors locked no you're not going anywhere look, it's punishment you have to build it by yourself so here's the deal guys logan's leaving me to build a prison by myself but that's a good thing all right that means i can put in certain fail safes that i know i can escape out of we're not gonna let him know this but we're gonna be escaping from this box for prison he, we are not gonna be held in this box for prison we got all of our cardboard and now it's time to start building this prison now i don't know much about building prisons because i've never built one before but i have an idea so for this prison we're gonna have like one single cell and then kind of like an outside area it also has to make sure that it has an enclosed kind of you know like the old-fashioned prison bars a toilet a bed i'm gonna get this thing built so we can get in there but don't tell logan we're gonna be escaping tonight because we're not gonna be last in prison for tonight. I gotta get back. I gotta start building more box forts so I cannot be locked up in here. This is what we have so far, and I know it doesn't look like much right now, but basically this room is gonna be like the outside room, kind of like the viewing room, and over here is gonna be the actual jail cell. Now, I haven't finalized here. There's still a little bit of a gap, but we are gonna close that off, and then in here is the actual jail cell. This is the hole for the plumbing. Uh, it's not a lot of room, but I'm not anticipating being in here for too long, so I don't really care as long as Logan thinks it's gonna last. That's all that matters, so once we're done with the outside, I'm gonna go in the jail cell. I'm gonna deck it out with all the stuff that we get in box for prison, which isn't a lot, but it's it should be just enough to escape. Got most of it done so far. You guys can see here, we have the prison cell over here. We've got the main area of the prison on this side, and I still have to make a box fort confinement chamber over there, but we're almost ready to put the roof on, which I think we're gonna do next. And then I'm gonna start customizing the inside. Check this out, guys. We've been using this like extremely solid, super hard cardboard. Yes, Papa Jake's gonna escape because I'm a box for God, but if we ever caught some box for criminals like the tape snaggler or the box grabber, we could lock them up in here and potentially they wouldn't be able to ever get out. This is maximum security prison. There's no way out of this thing, unless you're Papa Jake. We got the roof done. It is looking awesome. Now it is time to do the doors. We got to make sure that we make no, 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 no. What, what, what? I do the doors and I'm making sure you can't escape. I don't want you messing around with the doors, man. That's fine. You can do the doors. I'm I'm sure you'll make them un unbreakable. You might want to make this as secure as possible, bro. This is the main lobby, I guess, or slash area. This is where the sheriff will chill, Sheriff Logan. guys check it out the jail cell bars are done but now we got to go inside the cell and start decking it out to make it a true box for prison so we're gonna get in there and we're gonna start building inside and now we're actually inside the prison cell and it's time to deck this place out so we're gonna be using a bunch of items that Logan permitted we can put in the prison cell but what he doesn't know is we're actually gonna be using these items for our escape so that's gonna come a little bit later but right now let's turn this into a cell just finished working on the cell and this is what it looks like this is our entire cell we've got a nice table here we've got a uh, little bit of tape left over a notepad a pencil uh, over here is my toilet and you guys will notice that the toilet is actually screwed into the wall only stuff can go down but you can't come back up so I couldn't put anything in there and hide it unfortunately I am thinking there might be a pipe or something in the toilet don't know yet uh, we do have our lights up here we do have a light up here we also have a smoke detector slash carbon dioxide detector 
That's gonna be a big part in escaping from this place. I don't think anything in here is gonna raise any alarms for Logan. I mean, it's just a notepad to take notes about my prison life in the prison box for it. A roll of tape is fine. You know, extra roll of tape. We got lights all mounted on the wall. I even screwed in the toilet so he knows. You know, I'm not gonna have a screwdriver. There's no way for me to get that open. So, and a carbon monoxide detector. I mean, that's that's just safety. So hopefully he's not gonna say anything. If everything goes as planned, our breakout's happening tonight. Jail thus far has been monotonous. The box life is definitely for me. I long for the days of creating box forts. What, what? Thank you got you. jail clothing for me? Yes. Oh, okay. You can't keep me in here for that long. I'm making box forts. The box life's my life. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll put the clothing on. Just got my prison outfit on. We are officially in here. Logan, I'm telling you, man, I'm getting out of here. You can't hold me behind these box walls. Yes, I want my pizza, please. I mean, I, I guess prison food could be a lot worse. Thank you. Mmm. So You know, Logan, this, this is really great, but it would really go down with some dipping sauce. Can I please have a little dipping sauce, man? I mean, I'm in such a cramped cell all night. The least you can do is get me some dipping sauce. Are you playing games with me? No, no, not at all. I just, I just want dipping sauce. All right, I'll get you dipping sauce. Thank you. While Logan was sitting there, I noticed on the ground there was a match. A little rogue match. So I got him to go away. So we're going to grab this. Hopefully I can get it. Guys, we gotta hide this from Logan before he gets back because I know he's gonna search the cell before we go to bed. So on my desk here, I have some toothpaste because I gotta brush my teeth at night. But we're gonna use this toothpaste to hide the match under my table here. All right guys, so now we're gonna stick it under here just like that. Check it up there. He's never gonna see it under there. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna eat my pizza! I'm gonna eat my pizza! No dipping sauce tonight, Jake. <laughs> this is solitary box for confinement. You think I'm gonna get you some sauce? Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna go to bed. And not only that, you're getting handcuffs tonight. Handcuffed? Before bed? That's fine, I'll take it. And just so you don't think about escaping, I'm tying your legs to the post. Okay, I'm not gonna escape anyway. I never even thought about it, never crossed my mind. I'm, people don't escape from box four prison. It's never happened before, so why would it happen to me? Box cop, master of box forts. Who built this place? All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lie here and go to bed now. All right, I'm leaving you for the night. If I hear any noise, any funny business, I'm coming back. But you won't you won't hear anything. It'll it'll be like I'm not even here. All right, guys, looks like he's gone. As you can see, he's left us in the box for prison, and he's tied us up here against this post. Ugh, ropes definitely too hard to get through, and without my hands free, there's no way of getting it undone. Also, he has these cuffs on pretty tight. Looks like it's Plan B. First things first, I gotta get out of these cuffs. Luckily for us, uh, in my notebook. We have uh, one paper clip. There we go. All right. Now you can't be a box god and not know how to pick a handcuff or two. Ah, there we go. Got it. Whew. All right, first handcuffs off. I'm gonna leave the second handcuff. I don't want to mess around with that too much. Okay, now I need my match. Gotta get all the toothpaste off of it. Luckily for us, Logan did not see this match because we had it stuck underneath my table using the toothpaste. All right, next up, in order to be able to get out of here, I gotta get through this rope. I've got an idea. We're gonna use the toilet paper. We were given. And we're gonna make a bit of a torch here. All right, now this should be able to burn for a long enough time to get through this rope here. Other than that, I can't get through the knots themselves, so I'm gonna have to burn straight through this without burning my leg or the rest of the box down. We're gonna take the carbon monoxide detector off the wall. There we go. And just as I thought, it's got a nine volt battery in it. So we're gonna use this nine volt battery with the pencil. Take out the lead, not much. A little bit of tape left over. Luckily, Logan didn't think that this tape would be useful for anything, but if you know what you're doing with it, you can start a fire. Need my match now? All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Got it, got it. There we go, there we go. Perfect. All right, we don't have a lot of time. Let's get through this rope. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, got it, got it, we're out. As long as the smoke doesn't attract Logan, we should be okay. I'm gonna try and put it out with some of this. Whew. All right, fire's out. We gotta keep moving though. All right guys, now that I've got the rope burned off, we're free of the rope, we're also free of the handcuffs. So now we gotta get out of here. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Papa Jake, how are we gonna get out of here? Well, I built this place, and I know that the piping system leads to an overrunning valve. That funnels all the piping into the pool, which is outside of the prison, and it'll allow us to escape. If we can get down there, we can fashion a raft out of poo. I know that sounds a bit weird, but trust me, later it'll all make sense. 
To get there though, we gotta get through this toilet. Now Logan sealed the toilet with extra screws, but got a way we can get out of here. Take this pencil, pop the back off. Should be able to push it into the screw, make a temporary screwdriver. Awesome. All right, got the first screw. I knew this would be the hardest part of the escape. Starting to turn it a little bit. We're actually gonna be using our trusty paper clip and just kind of wrapping under the back of the screw. We're gonna hope that we can yank it out. There we go, just like that. Almost got it, almost got it. Come on, there we go. All right, there we go, guys. Second screw down, one more to go. Once I get it slightly turned out with the pen method, we can grab it with the paper clip. Ah, got it. All right, last screw's down. This thing should be free. Now we can get through the tunnel. Problem is the tunnel is dark. There's no lighting system in there. And if we get lost in the tunnel systems, we'll be down there forever. And that's worse than this prison itself. So we're gonna need a flashlight. All the light systems we have fixed in here are fixed systems. But this one, I can screw off the front and get access to the LED bulbs. <sighs> All right guys, so after fiddling around with the light for a little bit, I was actually able to rip this out. I kind of cut my hand a little bit while doing it, but this is the LED bulbs that's behind the light itself. I know it doesn't look much right now, but if we use that nine volt battery from the carbon monoxide detector, we can actually turn these on and turn it into a little portable flashlight. Now mind you, this was attached to the wall and attached into a light. I couldn't get the light off the wall and use that as a flashlight, but I could rip out this just by bending the metal at the back. Now when we put the nine volt to it, there we go. So now that we got a working flashlight, we're good to go and we're gonna make our way through the tunnel. So now that we got our flashlight, we were able to burn through the rope, get the handcuffs off, remove all the screws from the toilet, and do it all without alerting Logan, we're ready to get out here. The last step is gonna be fashioning a raft out of poo, and then making our way across the channel to freedom. All that's left now is to remove this toilet, and there should be a tunnel behind it. I mean, I know, because I built this place. Ah, ah, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna use my homemade fashion flashlight to give us a little bit of light here. All right, looks like I got a good path through the tunnel. If I'm right, and I should be, this tunnel should lead into the main depository where all the toilets go. Okay, we're in now. At this point, if Logan were to catch us, we'd be in a lot of trouble. So there's no turning back now. All right, it looks like we're out of the cell. It's completely dark, but. I can see a little bit with the homemade flashlight, but that's water right there. Not just water, that's freedom, baby. <sighs> Papa Jake's escaping from this place, and we ain't coming back. Logan's not gonna know what happened. And just like I said, guys, we got a fashion a raft out of poo. Well, here she is, the poo raft. I'm not sure how well she'll float, and this water is extremely cold, so falling in is gonna be terrible. Poo raft comes with a paddle. All right, there's the tunnel exit. See the outside of the box for it from here. So far, so good. Seems like it's floating. It's time to get out of here. All right, we off. See you later, box for prison. We escaping. Oh, prison's all the way back there. But freedom, freedom's out there. I haven't heard the alarms go off yet, so probably doesn't know we're out. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh so cold. I think the coast is clear. I haven't heard the alarm go off. Honestly, if Logan hasn't noticed I'm gone by now, either he's doing his job terribly, or they just assume that I just disappeared into thin air, which they might, because we pretty much left no trace, uh, other than the burned rope and, well, we did move the toilet. But other than that, we left no trace, so. I think we did it, boys and girls. I think we, I think we escaped from Box 4 Prison. Nobody escapes from Box 4 Prison. I mean, nobody. We just did it. Yo, guys, if you think escaping from Box 4 Prison was lit, smack that like button down below, because this might have been the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm still a little bit worried Logan might find us. I'm still a little worried he might come back here. But Papa Jake, the box god, has broken out. We are free. And we're free of these. Now it's time to get back to what I do best, making box forts. I'll see you guys next time.